Four hundred and five dollars and Libby. Four ten. Four hundred and ten dollars. There are the four bids. The actual retail price is radio. It's like TV without all the colors. This week, TGIF has extra special meaning for businesses across Ontario and Toronto. Stage one, it means a big reopening for businesses that have been shut down except for delivery and curbside pickup. Patios are finally open again. It's a wonderful thing considering we haven't really done much in the last two years. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Joe and today I'm with my girlfriend Alicia. Hey. In today's video, we're so lucky we partnered with tons of different restaurants around town to showcase some of their patios. So make sure to check out their patios and to support local. And we are working with them to showcase their stunning patios because let me tell you, they have done a lot of work to make them sweet. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. It means so much to me, guys, to help me grow this channel and to you're going to get a lot more travel content like this in the future. The first patio we went to was Wide Owl Bistro. White Owl Bistro is a beautiful restaurant located right on Lake Nipissing and it is a farm to table so essentially what they'll do is every single thing on their menu is fresh just from their farm. The farm is called Sumwood Farms and let me tell you I've never had a fresher meal in all of my life. I got the sun-dried tomato roast chicken arugula pasta and right away I could tell that it was homemade pasta and everything was just so fresh. It looked like it was picked just this morning. And I got the jackfruit wrap. I'm not vegan, but I do like a lot of vegan food. I was really happy to see that they had like a jackfruit option on their menu and jackfruit may as well be pulled pork. It is the exact same, so if not good. better. There's a lot of vegan options. There's a lot of different things and that's what really grabbed my attention. So if you're looking for a place that's a really good experience, you're gonna get some really different and really, really fresh food. I highly recommend going here. You know how you'll go through menus and you're like, oh, I don't know what to get because you don't really want anything on it. This is like the opposite where you're going through the menu and you're yeah. like, oh, I don't know what to I get because you want, want every that. single thing that. on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard to decide. You could get any of the options and you would be so happy. Right when you walk into the patio, it opens up to this beautiful, so there's tons of space. So you can either go on just kind of the stone patio and there's this little gate you can walk through and it leads right out into, they have a bunch of other tables in the grass and then you're right onto Lake Nipissing. I loved it there. It is the perfect place to either go on a really nice date have a girl's night out. Bring place. your girls to this place, fellas. <laughs> so the second patio that we went to is Average Joe's on beautiful Trout Lake. The reason for that is because the patio is quite literally on Trout Lake. There's boats everywhere and you're right on a beautiful lake. Everyone's flying by with their sea dews and boats and there is such a vibe to the place. And the other thing that they do have now, which I believe is new this year, is an awning that covers over top of the majority of the seating. So even if it's raining, there's still that protection. I got the potato crusted pickerel. It was so crunchy and so delicious. I 100% recommend this dish. I had the club sandwich and it was incredibly good it was perfect portions we couldn't even finish our food and that's like usually not the case for us yeah, we usually like nice. eat everything but here we couldn't do it we wanted to also get like specialty drinks at these places i got the trout lake and to drink i had the fully loaded caesar which came with bacon pickles i'm a huge caesar fan and this one was like 
Something really cool that we also love about Average Joe's is they always have events too. So an example is Boda Palooza, and I think it happens every like few weeks during the summer. You literally just show up with your boat. It can be your kayak, your canoe, like anything that floats and everyone just chills there. They get food delivered right to you on the water and you just listen to music and have a good time. And they also do dock to dock. So if you live on Trout Lake, yeah. If you live on Trout Lake, you can call the restaurant and order food and they will have someone on a little sea do bring it to your dock. <laughs> How much of a baller would you feel though just sitting on your dock and then someone pulls up in like a sea do with all your food? We've been to Average Joe's a few times now and we've been there mostly for brunch and we think this is our favorite brunch place on this list so definitely check out their brunch if you have the chance. There's a lot of reasons why I like Average Joe's. And the third patio we think you should check out is at the station. one of the restaurants found in like Old North Bay, so like the original North Bay. And it's a restaurant that used to be a pub and there's actually two floors to it. And then they've also got the patio, which they have done a lot of work to. It looks yeah. amazing back there. And it's got a massive awning that we went on a rainy day and we were completely dry. What I got to eat is the Korean duck. It was really delicious. It had kimchi on it and like some like really hot sauce. And I chose that just because it's something really unique that I haven't seen in any of the restaurants. And then I got the fromaggi tortellini. Tortellini. <laughs> tortellini, which is one of my favorite meals ever. It had a rosé sauce on it and it was seriously so tasty. So for drinks, I got a espresso martini. I've actually never had a martini before. And I had the blueberry sour, which is a whiskey based drink. The station is quite a nice restaurant. It's somewhere that you'd probably dress up like bar casual, lounge casual, or you could dress up really nice for it. I definitely think that it's worth going to check out and supporting local. Who likes beer? The next place on your patio journey around North Bay is Gateway Brewery. <laughs> mind-blowing. I'd never been there before. Gateway Brewery is a craft brewery located just off Gormanville. All of the tanks that are fermenting and making all the beer are just right there. There's a bunch of pinball machines that are really cool too. I know they have all you can pinball events normally. Obviously with COVID they can't do that. For now they do have a nice huge open patio. When we went there we wanted to know what their thing was and so uh, their thing is their flights. And so we got to try out a paddle which had four different kinds of beer, uh, one seltzer and three beers. And my personal favorite was the lightest one, which was the peach this, seltzer. This. One thing to mention is that Gateway doesn't actually have their own food, but instead there's a food truck, a Japanese vegan artesian like fancy food truck. Yeah, like super high-end food truck. Right outside like the patio. The place is called Miso Shisho and we met the owner. It's him and his wife and they've made this gourmet food truck. Like it's super, super high-end. Fine dining. Fine dining, really high quality food. Like we were floating by how good it was. So I ordered some udon noodles and it had a bunch of veggies and tofu and stuff. And then after I was finished, I was like, holy, I need to know what his secret recipe is and I'm gonna buy a bunch of his sauces now. But... The steamed sliders, the steamed vegan sliders, and they had little... Um... The little fluffy pillowcase, almost pork bun things. I think they're called bao. They're pork buns, but not pork buns because they're vegan. <laughs> yeah. Gateway Brewery is definitely like, 100% is a great experience for sitting down middle of the day having a few drinks with your friends and if you're hungry there's you're lucky enough to have this such a high quality food truck just right on location. The next location that we want to show you guys is Lou Dogs. Dogs is located downtown and they have two patios. So the first one is right on Main Street and then the second one is actually behind the building, so right on Oak Street. And Lou Dogs is kind of a southern barbecue smokehouse. You're gonna get a lot of smoked meats and it's honestly super delicious. Immediately what caught my eye was the wings that says were smoked for two hours, so I pulled the trigger on that. I got the pulled pork sandwich and it had jalapenos and crispy onions and like all the southern goodness. Ooh. It was very good. For people that are watching that aren't huge meat eaters, 
or they're vegetarians or they're vegans. They have tons of different meat alternative options. For appetizers, we share the deep fried pickles. They're oh, very sure. good there. The perfect crunch on the outside and the perfect like tenderness. As far as drinks are concerned, I had a Moscow Mule, which was excellent. I liked it because their Moscow Mule was a little bit lighter and it was a lot easier to drink. You didn't really have as bad of a burn. Something really cool about Lou Dogs, they do normally have a lot of live music. Once indoor dining does start to happen again, I'm sure they're gonna start having some live music. I believe most of the genres kind of like jazz vibes they're going for because it is like a southern cuisine. This is the perfect place to go grab some beers with the boys and watch the game. And last but not least guys, we obviously had to include the boat. to be the old chief commanda that did sail. Eventually they ended up docking it and turning it into a restaurant, but this boat is like the party slash dinner boat. Located right on Lake Nipissing, like you're literally right on the water. It's the perfect spot to grab drinks and watch the sunset. North Bay does have the most stunning sunsets. This is more of where a lot of people go to party. They're open quite a bit later. I believe they're open on Friday, Saturday until 1 a.m. There is a lot of tables, so you can be sectioned off into like around the corner of the boat where it's a little more intimate or you can be on the side where it's a lot more like picnic tables and like more open. They also have a lot of drink specials, especially on the weekends, like sending them out like crazy where these big buckets filled with beer. They do have like a drink of the restaurant. It's called Boat Juice. It's like a tropical drink that's a really like Super bright rare. blue. Yeah. For food, we both got the, I kind of think it's hilarious, they call it the paddle breads and they're literally served on like a boat paddle. You got the buffalo chicken. Yeah. And I got the pesto mushroom. You go there with your friends. Like it's a place that you go with your friends to have drinks, yeah. to enjoy the sunset, enjoy the view. And that's it for the video guys. Those are the must do patios in North Bay that you need to check out this summer. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. It means so much to me guys to help me grow this channel and to you're gonna get a lot more travel content like this in the future. Help support these local businesses obviously during these very difficult times. Grab some drinks, go out with some friends, have some amazing food. I promise you, you're not gonna regret any of these places. Places. They're all amazing. Let us know if there's pa any patios that we may have left out on this list. We did try to reach out to a lot of them and just because of the time constraints, it was hard to make them all possible and to add them all to this list for this video. If you have any recommendations or places you think we left out, feel free to comment that below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I think this is definitely the breast, the breast. <laughs> <laughs> Actual blue bear, blue <laughs> He just, sometimes I just want to Ow. Open. Sometimes I just want to rip his nose off. Watching that aren't huge meat eater eat it. And last but not least, 